Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, Tania. I would like to thank you for your effort and also thank Corel Corporation for this webinar. And I wish it useful for everybody. Also, please forgive me if there is uh, linguistic mistakes because uh, English is not my mother tongue. Today, I will explain a simple way to use a photo reference as inspiration to create a pencil portrait illustration. I would like to make clear, I will not draw a personal portrait for purpose to display the same likeness of person. My objective is not to take a snapshot from photo reference, but I will build a special proportion and bring them and then bring official features and shadows from reference. Uh, there, there are many books in library learning how to draw portraits. I will use the same technique with some differences belong to me. I use it to create a character design or illustration. Our web consists of two parts. The first is how to build a guidelines in my way. And the second is drawing official pictures. The guidelines help us to keep the right dimension between facial elements to prevent distortion on image or on face. In this webinar, the space between eyes is very important. So I will use it as a major unit to build everything. I will show you what I mean. In this image, the space between two eyes, I will convert this space, this space to major unit. So I will build everything in guidelines on this unit. Okay. Let's let's start. Thank you. Open new. Width 21, height 30, 300 pixel per inch. Okay. I will select pencil tool. Select pencil tool. And I will show you where the place in menu, real to be pencil. Okay. I will pick a gray color from mixer. I change obesity to 50% and brush size to 20. And make sure it freehand strokes. I will not change anything else. During the process, I will change the obesity from keyboard numbers. For example, one equal 10%, two equal 20%, and so on, until zero equal one 1,000%. Okay. I will draw horizontal line in the middle of the, in the, middle of the page. Create new layer. I will bless two, bless two. Okay. To define the width of beige, or as, or sorry, to define the width of face, I will divide the horizontal line into five equal parts. That depending on my sense. I will ensure using selection.
okay i will save to create a vertical line i will divide the horizontal line into two parts from the center I will divide the vertical line into eight parts. I will use the seven bar to define face feature and another one for neck. I will make a square selection tool because I need to add two points every in every bar along the vertical line. I will, I will, I will use my measure unit. Okay. There is four parts of measure unit above horizontal line to define forehead and hair. And four parts, blue horizontal line, three of them to define nose, lips, chin, and other one for neck. Now I create the guidelines base it may it it seems like a mystery i will make a quick draw line uh, on another layer to clarify i will delete this layer later here is the eyes here is nose lips and chin quick layer okay how to how to locate jaw point or, or jaw line I will extend a line from point of right eyes here down to cross the with lips line. I locate the place of jaw line. To locate check. I will divide this part into two part in half. Now I have made a guideline.